Good day, everyone, and welcome to our home. It's Pastor Roy and Callie here, and look at me. Do I look different? I got bandages all over me. You know what happened? I was doing yard work, and unfortunately, I got a couple of bee stings, but this is really poison ivy. And it's gotten so bad that I had to go to the doctor and they wrapped me all up. I've got blisters all over me and even under my shirt and stuff. It's pretty bad. Maybe some of you have had poison ivy before. If you haven't, good for you. You can talk to your parents or others to help identify it. It's usually a plant with three leaves on it and you don't want to get too close to it or this could happen. So I had to go to the doctor and get some medicine because it's not going to be able to heal all by itself. And I wanted to talk today about the our healthcare workers. You know, they have been working really hard, our doctors, our nurses, and all of the people that support our hospitals, the people that clean, the people that make food, all of the people that help provide medicine, the scientists who are discovering things that help us to feel better you know and uh how about cali pets are and love is probably some of the best medicine isn't it so she's helping me she's sitting right by me because she knows that i'm not feeling super well right now but medicine and our healthcare workers i want to give thanks for them and i hope that you do too we want to pray for our doctors and our nurses. They have been working really hard with this virus that's been going on for 18 months. And it's getting really difficult again for a lot of them. And we want to pray for people to take care of themselves, for them to listen to the experts and to do what's needed to stay healthy and really to help everyone else stay healthy. But even if we get sick, whether it's the virus or poison ivy, or if we get the flu, or if we get anything, if we hurt ourselves, these doctors, these nurses, these specialists, they work really hard to help us. They have all the knowledge that they have learned from the people who've trained them. And that all comes from God. God has helped people over time to think and to discover and to give us ways to help to heal things like plants or operations or different kinds of medicine. So let's say a prayer of thanksgiving for all of the people who take care of us, including your parents, your mom and dad, or anyone in your house may have taken care of you before when you've been sick and they become a caregiver too. So let's say a prayer of thanks. God, we thank you for all that you bless us with, our pets who love us and can tell when we're sick and just sit by us to make us feel better, our parents and our loved ones who care and watch over us and tell us when it's time to go to the doctor like my wife did today, for our healthcare workers, the doctors, the nurses, the pharmacists and everyone all the way up and down the line through that entire medical field, even the support staff, to keep places clean and healthy for all of us. God, we thank you for the wisdom you give us and for the love you show for us and how you always want us to get better as much as we possibly can and to trust you no matter what. Lord, we love you and we thank you. And I thank you that I will be getting better soon through the medicine that you've provided for me today through others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you, everyone.